Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. And our new topic is modularization techniques. Firstly, we will understand the meaning of word modularization. Modularization has the word module. Module means small part or small unit. So what is modularization? It is a technique which is used to divide the program into small parts or small unit. With the help of modularization, you can divide a program into small, small parts or small, small units. Now the question comes, why we require modularization? Why we need to divide the program into small, small parts or small, small units? We can write the logic in continuous manner. Why we require modularization? Why we need to divide the program into small parts or small units? The answer is whenever you are using modularization, Maintenance of the code is very easy. Whatever the code you are writing, we can maintain the code very easily. And in addition to that, we can reduce the code redundancy. We will understand this point by the example itself. How we can maintain the code very easily. This is the program which we developed previously in which we fetch data from order header order item table and we displayed the output in this program there is no modularization technique we have written the logic in continuous manner we have data declarations we have select option for order number we have queries we have loop statements, we have parallel cursor, and we display the output using write statement. This program has very less lines of code. Just think about a project program in which we have 10,000, 20,000 lines of code, and we have written the logic in a continuous manner without using modularization technique without dividing the program into small, small parts. So it is very, very difficult to maintain the code into that program. Suppose same to same program I developed using modularization technique. Just see, in this modularization technique, I have all the data declarations of the program. In this modularization technique, I have all the input. As of now, we have only one input. In this modularization technique, I have all the code to fetch data from order header table, order item table. Just see, this program code is easy to maintain or this program code is easy to maintain. This program code is very, very easy to maintain. Suppose in future, if some issues came into this program, it is very easy to check small, small units of the program to identify the issue. If you are not using modularization and someone asks you to identify the issue in this program, yes, it is very tedious task. So maintenance of the code will be very easy whenever we are using modularization technique. Now, the next most important benefit again of modularization, it reduces the code redundancy. Suppose we'll go for simple example. In a program, we need to fetch data from a table three times. Suppose we'll go for order header table example only. In a program, we need to fetch data from order header table three times. If we are not using modularization, we will write the query how many times? Three times. Just think, if we are using modularization technique and we will write the logic into that modularization technique, 
to fetch data from order header table. It means there's no need to write the query three times. We need to just call the modularization technique three times. So just think how it is reducing the code redundancy. You can understand this point by other way also. Whenever we are going for modularization technique, same modularization technique we can use in several number of programs. So there's no need to write the code again and again. Suppose simple, simple, you can understand now fully. Suppose in this modularization technique, we have the data fetching from order header and order item table. Suppose I have another program. In that program, I have same to same requirement. So there's no need to write the code. You can call this modularization technique in another program also. So reusability is one of the important benefit of your modularization technique. You will develop modularization technique once and you can use at several places. So ultimately it is reducing the code redundancy because every time you will use same modularization technique at several places. Suppose I have this modularization technique in which I have all the data declarations. Suppose I am developing a, another program and in that program, I require same to same data declaration. So there's no need to write the data declaration. You can use this modularization technique there itself. So just see how the code redundancy, there's no need to write the code again and again. Reusability is another benefit of modularization. One time you develop, you can reuse at several places. Now in SAP or in this particular playlist, we will go for four modularization technique. I will not say four, we'll only go for three modularization technique because class methods modularization technique is already covered as a part of ABAP object oriented programming. So in this full playlist, we will cover three modularization technique includes function module and subroutines. So what is the summary of the video? What we studied in this particular video? In this video, we started with modularization technique. The meaning of modularization is to divide the program into small, small parts or small, small units. Why we require modularization? Because whenever you will use modularization, the maintenance of the code will be very, very easy. It is very easy to maintain the code. It is very easy to identify the issues in a program whenever you are going for modularization technique. Yes, whenever you are going for modularization technique, it reduces the code redundancy. There's no need to write the same code again and again. Reusability is another benefit of modularization technique. You will develop modularization technique once and you can use at several places. And we have four modularization technique includes function module, subroutine and class method. And in this whole playlist, we will cover includes function module and subroutine and because class method already covered as a part of a BAP OOPS playlist. So we'll cover these three modularization technique. In the next video, we will start with includes modularization technique. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.